everyone. Welcome to another tutorial on my channel. Today I am going to show you guys how to do this fun twist on a tortoise shell. This is the blonde tortoise shell. And I asked you guys in one of my last videos if you wanted to see a tutorial on this look. And I had a lot of you guys say yes. So here it is. I'm gonna show you how to do this blonde tortoise shell. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna show you guys the items that I use to create this look. First, I use Magpie's Fresh is a Daisy, which is like a sheer white gel polish. Then I used two of their inkies. I used yellow, and I also used their black inky, which is like an alcohol ink for nail art. I used the Profiles Gel Melt, which is like a blooming gel. So if you have a different brand of blooming gel, that's totally fine. And I used the Magpie's Black Gel Paint as well as like a small detailer brush to apply the gel paint. I used Light Elegance Joan Crawford Glitter Gel. And this glitter gel is not a glitter, it's like these golden flakes, almost like a gold leaf. So I used that and then I also used a matte top coat. This one's from Luxa and I used a regular uh, top coat as well. So to get started, I am gonna put one coat of the Fresh as a Daisy, which is a sheer white gel polish. If you have um, accents, I know they have one called Koi. So a lot of different brands are coming out with these kind of like sheer colors. So I'm just doing one coat of that all over the nail. And then I'm going in with my matte top coat and top coating that. So I'm only doing one coat of the sheer white, not two. Here it is after the mat is cured. So this is what I'm going to apply the inkies on top of or the inks. I personally prefer to apply inks on a matte top coat. I know some people just wipe the tacky layer off and go with that, but I prefer a matte surface when I am working with inks. So I'm starting off with the yellow and I'm kind of just placing it randomly on the nail and then I'm taking a random brush. This is not a nice like gel brush. Do not use a nice brush for this step because I'm using acetone to blend out that ink. And if you use acetone on a nice nail brush, it's not gonna be nice for very long. So the acetone is gonna, you know, fray it and kind of eat away at, at the bristles of the brush. So do not use a brush that is expensive or one that you really truly care about for uh, working with acetone. Then next I'm going in with the black and I'm kind of going in in between the yellow spots and overlapping a little bit too. Just kind of random. And then again, taking my brush and again, wetting it with a little bit of acetone and just blending that black out. So it's not quite as harsh and it's a little bit more translucent and blended out. And when I dip my brush in the acetone, I very lightly tap my brush on a lint-free wipe just to get any excess out because I don't want to like flood the nail with a whole bunch of acetone. I just want enough on my brush so that I can really just blend out these colors. Next I'm applying my coat of gel melt to the nail and I'm not going to cure this. I'm going to be using my black gel paint and I'm going to place that right into the gel melt and so the gel melt or the blooming gel will kind of spread that gel paint out and make it a little bit more like fluid and like blend it out, if that makes sense. So I'm taking my gel paint and I'm kind of placing it around where I had previously put the black ink. And I'm just putting a doll up there. I don't really want it to be like a perfect circle. I kind of want it to be a little bit more abstract. So I don't, you know, you don't have to be super perfect with it. The little bit more like messy, the better, I think. And then I am taking my brush and I'm just kind of blending it around. And the blooming gel is gonna do a lot of the work for you. It's going to kind of help disperse that black and just kind of fade it out.
So the longer that you let it sit in that blooming gel, the more the blooming gel is gonna work and the more that that gel is gonna start to fade and blend out. You could also probably use like a black gel polish for this if you don't have a black gel paint. And then I'm adding a little bit more to the center because I really want the center of these kind of black blobs to be uh, the darkest spot. So I'm adding a little bit to the center and then just filling in if I see any more little gaps or anything where I want to add a little bit more black. I am just putting in there and keep in mind I have not cured this yet so that blooming gel is still wet and it's still causing the black gel paint to fade out and disperse. So once you're happy with that, go ahead and cure that. Then I'm going to take just a tiny bit of that Joan Crawford glitter gel and I'm going to kind of brush it over the nail and you can also use your gel brush to kind of pick up pieces and kind of move them around where you want them to be. I have been loving this gel. This is probably like one of my new favorites. It's almost like using a gold leaf, except it's already like mixed around with gel. So you don't have to, I know like using gold leaf can be kind of finicky sometimes, like trying to pull it apart and get these little flakes, but this is super easy. You just dip your gel brush in and then place the flakes where you want them to be. So I'm gonna cure that now that I have my little flakes on there. I always love adding just a hint of like gold or some type of uh, metallic to the tortoise shell. I just think it looks, kind of adds just that extra touch. So once that is cured, I am going to top coat and that is all. It's super quick and easy to do this fun blonde tortoiseshell. It's kind of a cool twist on the regular darker tortoiseshell. And I will show you guys what the like original one looks like as well. And I will link the video. I do have a tutorial on the other tortoiseshell if you wanna see that one as well. So here is the original tortoiseshell. It's a much darker version and almost like that amber kind of orange color. And the blonde tortoiseshell is more of like a white, uh, lighter version of it. And again, I will link the video to the other tortoiseshell as well in the description box below. And everything, all the products that I use will also be linked in the description box. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. I do tutorials and hauls and all sorts of different videos that have lots to do with nails. So give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.